Good morning, San Jose Middle School Scorpions. It's already Tuesday, January 12th, and here is a picture of another heroic teacher. This is Miss D, who is directing people at home and people in the classroom at the same time in band. So go, Miss D. Uh, let's see, what kind of messages do we have today? Students, I have to talk to you about the yearbook. The yearbook is really important, and this year is going to be um, something that you are going to talk about when you are old and gray like me. So we are really coming up against a time when we need to have all kinds of photos in, and we're not getting as many as we had hoped. So we're just wondering, are there any pictures that you might take like of your work area where you do um, school, um, you and your friends um, somehow at school? Uh, let's see what else. What else could we take pictures of? Things that you're doing to keep yourself busy, reading or doing a sport or maybe some art that you've created. Um, really anything. We just want to kind of capture the feeling of our time uh, this year because boy it has been a weird year hasn't it anyway it's so easy to do you can even if you just want to write something up you can send it to the yearbook and you can send it right here to this sjms yearbook 2021 at gmail.com send your pictures and all of your stuff there and uh, make sure that you get your voice into the yearbook you can also upload things um here on on this uh, website right here. Uh, but either way, it's got to be done by March 1st. So we're getting serious about this. Let us know your thoughts. So let's see. Um, Scholar Dollar Prizes, there's still some left over. Uh, seventh and eighth graders, you can pick up your prizes at school any day this week between 2.45 and 3.30 p.m. I think we're still waiting for the tortilla blankets, uh, but that is going to be something that's going to be special. So be ready for that. Oh, uh, we are, Ms. McEachern has been showing videos to you all, all week about our expectations as we start the new year. So I just want to highlight for you the what she talked about yesterday. And if you didn't see the video, make sure you talk to your first and third or fifth period teacher about a link for that. So Ms. McEachern was talking to you about staying focused in the classroom. You know that we do have Go Guardian administrators watch it, lots of people watch it, um, and we're noticing a lot of kind of fooling around. Um, so we're asking you, please watch your tabs, only leave the tabs open for the things that you're supposed to be working on at school. Stop chatting with others because not only does that distract your learning, it distracts other people. And focus on what is happening in the classroom. We are so dedicated to making sure that you have a successful year this year. So we want you to do your very, very best. And these things will help, we promise. Uh, Ms. Baraban has done a great job here of revamping the schedule because as you know, seventh and eighth graders, they've pushed back the day that you'll be returning to us. So we're gonna be on this schedule a little bit longer than we thought. So I just wanted to have you note here that the kind of asynchronous work that you're supposed to be doing is listed down here. So make sure that you check this out to make sure you're doing all of your asynchronous work. Uh, let's see. Um, cohort A students, you're coming in the morning tomorrow for period two and four. You have asynchronous work in the afternoon. Cohort B, get up and do that async work in the morning and come to school in the afternoon. You're doing a great job. Let's work hard on getting here on time because it's not much time for us to be together and it's a little distracting when people are coming in late. So do your best on that. There's a dine and donate tomorrow, Wednesday. So if your family would like to order some food, they will give us money if you do it. And they are also a local business, so we always like to support them. All right, let's see. Students, you have second and fourth period at 8.20 in the morning. And then you have asynchronous work for periods one, three, five, and six. That's a half an hour per class, two hours total. So there's two hours here, but you know, Ms. McEachern's gonna wanna talk to you a little bit. So you're gonna wanna do some work up in this big giant block from 1020 until 1245. So try to get some work done in there too. 
Also remember January 15th was previously going to be a staff development day, but it is not. So you will have a full instructional day on Friday, just like any other Friday. All right, students, I hope you are feeling well, working hard, and of course, I'd love for you to make it a great day.